You know, when this fight was first announced between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, I was very against it. I thought it was a clown show and a shit show for Netflix to put this on their platform. To be honest, who is not going to stop and watch this fight? This is a huge fight deep down. And I'm very conflicted on who's going to win this match. In the beginning when it was announced, I really thought Jake Paul was going to wipe the floor with Mike Tyson. But after watching a bunch of training clips of Mike Tyson and the interview they had between the two in their face-to-face, -face, Jake Paul looks worse. Worried. And look, looks can be deceiving. I could be completely wrong. But towards the end of their face-to-face, -face, he just got very quiet. He looked a little nervous right in front of Mike Tyson. I feel like it's now starting to hit him that he's gonna get in the ring with Mike Tyson. But my opinions kind of still stand. You know, Mike Tyson is 58 years of age. He is older. But dude looks sauce the fuck up. And I really hope he is. Buddy is 50. He should be given all the juice he could possibly get. Like... The guy's back is massive. The training clips that I saw in his sparring, he was dropping a couple of dudes. Mike still got the speed. You can definitely see he still got the power. But my question is, what's going to happen until he feels a punch? Because that Roy Jones Jr. fight, yeah, you know, it felt like a little spar. Like, there was not much that happened. Both guys looked like they kind of had an agreement of like, look, we're not going to come in here and kill each other. We're going to tap each other up, light spar, and just get this money and call it a night. So we don't know how it's going to be when Mike feels Jake Paul's punches. And at the same time, it goes vice versa with Jake. Well, how's Jake going to feel when he fights Mike Tyson and he gets hit with that right hand from hell? Like, we just don't. No. So now I'm like conflicted with everything. Like from everything I've seen in the buildup with everything that has been going on, I don't know what's generally going to happen. Part of me feels that early on, Mike Tyson will get the better of Jake Paul. We will see Mike Tyson be very aggressive in the beginning, dish out some jab, come in with some vicious right hands and left hooks, and just try to destroy him with those body shots in the first two rounds. And it's only two minute rounds. So that will be favor of Mike Tyson. But at the same time, I think Jake Paul will have a slow start in this fight. But at some point, Mike is 58 years of age. I feel like that will catch up to him. And I think deep down, Jake Paul will get Mike Tyson out of there in the later rounds. Jake Paul, this is a lose-lose for him. Deep down, look, in a retrospect, this is the highest of highs that he'll get in his career. Deep down, fighting Mike Tyson, there's nothing above that on Netflix, absolutely. But deep down, I do feel like it's a lose-lose for his career. Because if he loses, it's done. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's over for him. You lost to a 58-year-old man. Obviously, it's one of the greats. It is Mike Tyson. But deep down, that's the truth of it all. You won't be considered a big-time boxer. And your quest of being a world champion will be diminished. It will be over if you lose this fight. But then if you beat Mike Tyson, you will be public enemy number one. And I know deep down Jake Paul is okay with that. He's been the heel for most of his career so far in his short boxing career. A lot of people dislike him, especially the diehard boxing fans because he and the M hardcore MMA fans. But you beat Mike Tyson, all you're going to be looked upon as is just the guy that beat a legend while he was down. But if I were Jake Paul, I think he's given Mike Tyson a lot of respect. And, you know, you should do that. I understand why he does it because he really likes Mike Tyson. But if you really want a long-lasting career in fighting, you got to put yourself more into that heel persona like he did in the past with Ben Askren, with Tyrone Woodley. And you got to just let that all out the window because Mike Tyson's going to go in there to kill you. We all know it. We saw the look in his eyes and his face to face. He didn't want to talk much. He was ready to stand on business, dude. You know what I mean? So... Jake Paul, he has to go back on this little villain arc of his. He has to bring that back. And him beating Mike Tyson will propel him to that standard. Because if he beats Mike Tyson, every other pro boxer is going to want to fight Jake Paul. Every guy that idolized Mike growing up, any top tier fighter, will want to fight Mike Tyson. The Canelos of the world are going to want his hands on him. Who knows? Any guy between the cruiserweight and the heavyweight division is going to want to get his hands on Jake Paul if he beats Mike Tyson. Because that's how idolized and cherished Mike Tyson is as a fighter. And I know a lot of people really think Mike Tyson is going to go into the destroy him. But we also have to understand he is 58 years of age. He is older. He struggled with stomach ulcers earlier in the year and they had to postpone the fight till now so we know there's been critical issues with his training camp 
the last couple of months. Now it seems like they're smooth, everything's going well, but we know there was issues before, and who's to say that can't arise and bring in problems in this fight? I don't know what Mike Tyson we are gonna see. Like, I don't really count the Roy Jones Jr. fight. Like, to me, deep down, like I said earlier, was a spar. But the last time we really saw Mike Tyson in a pro bout was against Kevin McBride. And look, that was such a long time ago. That was almost 20 years ago. So we can't really take much from that. And hold that against him now because Mike Tyson then is a whole different Mike Tyson now. My question is, when Mike Tyson gets to that ring, will he follow instructions from his coaches? Will he just let loose and swing for the fences? Or will he be controlled? Will he be poised? Will he select his shots? We don't know deep down down we know there's something in there with mike he always says it there's this animal that comes out inside of him when he gets into the ring but how much will he control it is it going to be completely unleashed or is it just going to be controlled i don't know so there's a lot of questions that i have between this fight moving forward and there's a lot that could happen and overall i don't know how to determine it i really think jake paul will win this fight and i i've Thought, I've thought about it from the beginning. I've always stood on that. But seeing a lot of things now had me very conflicted. But you know what, guys? I will tell you here right now. Jake Paul will win this fight. He's not going to win it as easy as it looks. But I think he'll get Mike out of there probably in the sixth round. I think at some point... Mike Tyson's aides will catch up to him in that fight, and I feel that he will get KO'd, and unfortunately, Mike Tyson will get memed. I will be rooting for Mike deep down, because I really like Mike Tyson. You know, my parents loved Mike Tyson growing up. Everybody used to tell me these stories of Mike Tyson. So deep down, I will be rooting for him, but I just feel Jake Paul will win this fight. But then another scenario that I forgot to bring up that I feel that could happen as well, that other fight that happened probably about two or three years ago was when Vitor Belfort fought Evander Holyfield. Obviously, the circumstances were different in this fight because Evander Holyfield came in in day's notice. And But Evander Holyfield, everybody looked at him like, damn, Evander's jacked. He's huge. He's still like he can go because they saw him hit some pads or whatever. The moment he stepped in with Vitor Belfort, Vitor Belfort was sauced up to the gills. He beat evander holyfield's ass he destroyed evander holyfield and it was just so sad to see just seeing evander holyfield crumble like that like a little ball and watching vitor's ass just completely jacked up to the gills going all out against him just sucked to see and i just don't want to see that with mike tyson i in ways this could be similar to that fight but in other ways i feel like it won't but like i said i feel that jake paul will win i don't think it'll be as easy for him as i thought it was previously but i feel jake paul will win i'm gonna say jake paul knocks out mike tyson in the sixth round and that's done and dusted but yeah i think jake paul will win unfortunately we'll see what happens who knows mike could probably pull something off but you never know this thing with boxing you never know what could transpire but that's how i feel at the end of the day people good game boys catch you later deuces I'm out. Make sure to subscribe.